You start in the woods and you make it to your skiff. You go from your skiff to another island. And from that other island, you find yourself a nice big tree with room for two, and you crawl up there, preferably around sunset. Bear Brown, a star figure on Alaskan bush people, has faced his share of personal struggles, earning both sympathy and concern from viewers. Known for his adventurous spirit and wild personality, Bear's life took a drastic turn when he was arraigned in court for abuse. From legal issues to losing his dad, Bear's journey has been anything but easy. Despite these difficulties, he remains strong, trying to balance his reality TV life with his personal challenges. Let's get into the heartbreaking tragedy of Bear Brown. On March the 11th, 2022, Bear Brown found himself in a troubling situation that shocked his fans and followers. The reality star, known for his rugged lifestyle and devotion to his family, was arrested near his family's ranch on charges of alleged abuse. Details of his arrest began to emerge, painting a troubling picture of what had transpired. According to reports, the altercation occurred when Bear and his wife, Raven Adams, were in the process of moving into a camping trailer. Raven told the responding officer that Bear had tried to take her phone from her during a heated argument. She described her husband as acting crazy, a statement that hinted at the intensity of the conflict. The situation escalated when Bear allegedly held Raven down on the bears as he tried to take her phone. This action led to the charge of fourth-degree assault. However, when the officer examined Raven, the only physical mark he found was a scratch on her finger, with no other visible injuries or signs of harm. Following his arrest, Bear spent the weekend in Okanogan County Jail, but was released without bond. He eventually entered a plea deal in April 2022, and since then, the family has been keeping a low profile, possibly to avoid further public scrutiny and to focus on healing from the recent hardships they faced. Little did Bear know that the struggles had just begun. Bear and Raven's relationship was further complicated when Raven requested for the sole custody of their son in court following Bear's denial of being the biological father. However, after conducting a paternity test, Bear filed a case to have joint custody of their child. Despite the ups and downs, Bear and Raven eventually reconciled, deciding to give their relationship another chance for the sake of their son. Later that year, the couple tied the knot in a small intimate ceremony, attended only by a few close friends and family members. Bear's legal troubles have undoubtedly added strain to an already challenging period for the family. However, the family supported them and they were able to get over their differences like they've always done. The past few years have been incredibly challenging for not only Bear, but the entire Brown family, often referred to as the Wolfpack. In February 2021, the family suffered an immense loss when Billy Brown, the family patriarch and the heart of Alaskan bush people, passed away. His death left a void in the family, one that has been difficult to fill since his demise. The death of Billy marked a turning point for both the family and the show itself. Billy, who died at the age of 68 after suffering a fatal seizure at the family's home in Washington State, had long struggled with health issues, including heart problems, which had been documented on the show. Despite his health challenges, Billy remained a resilient and key figure on the show, guiding his family through the many ups and downs of their unconventional lifestyle. His passing, however, came as a shock to everyone, and he had always been the anchor of the family, providing wisdom, strength, and a deep connection to the wild, which was a core theme displayed on the show. The immediate reaction from the Brown family was one of immense grief and loss. Noah Brown was the first to break the news to the public through a heartfelt Instagram post, where he expressed the pain of losing his father and described Billy as his best friend. He shared that Billy had passed away peacefully, surrounded by his loved ones. The post was a reminder of the deep bond that existed within the Brown family, a bond that viewers had come to admire over the years. The other members of the Brown family also shared their emotions and memories of Billy. His wife, Amy Brown, who had been by his side through thick and thin, was devastated by the loss. Amy had battled cancer in recent years, and Billy had been her rock during those difficult times. Now, the family faced the heartbreaking task of continuing without their leader. The grief was palpable, not just within the family, but also among the fans who had come to see Billy as a father figure in their own lives. 
The episode Back to the Bush featured emotional moments as family members reflected on their father's influence and the lessons he'd imparted to them. There were scenes of the family coming together to honor Billy's legacy, with each member trying to find their way in a world without him. The show's theme shifted from its usual adventurous spirit to one of reflection and mourning, as the Browns struggled to move forward while keeping Billy's dream alive. While the family mourns, Billy's death sparked discussions about the future of Alaskan bush people. Many wondered how the show would continue without the family's patriarch and whether the family would be able to sustain the lifestyle that Billy had envisioned. Despite these concerns, the Browns made it clear that they intended to continue the show and live out the dream Billy had set for them. In the episodes following Billy's death, the family worked to rebuild their lives, dealing with the grief in their own ways. The show continued to document their struggles and triumphs. Meanwhile, the patriarch's death wasn't the only tragedy that befell the family. The family's dog, Mr. Cupcake, passed away as well. The whole family was devastated by his death, as they'd all grown fond of having him around. It's Mr. Cupcake. You what? What happened? What about him? Okay? <laughs> Is he okay? He's got my what? It's okay. It's okay. The good thing, though, was that Billy was around to say his final goodbye before he passed. Following this tragedy, six members of the Brown family, including Bear, were arraigned in court for fraud allegations. The Browns were charged with a total of 60 counts of first degree unsworn falsification and first and second degree theft. The backstory was that, at the time, residents of Alaska were eligible for PFD funds after living there for a year. The Browns saw this opportunity and jumped on it, but the Alaskan Department of Revenue, after receiving a fraud tip, conducted an investigation, only to discover that the Brown family, who applied for the PFD, had lied. Scott Stair, the investigation manager, revealed that the family did not meet the physical presence requirement to receive the funds, because for the most part of the stipulated year, the family spent more than 180 days a year living outside of Alaska and lied about it on their application. In the end, Billy, before his death, was slammed with no less than 24 count charges as a result of receiving more than $13,000 under false pretense. However, Billy pleaded guilty and was fined, sentenced to 30 days in jail, in order to do a mandatory community service. On top of that, the family was also banned from applying for PFDs in the future. The remaining family members, on the other hand, were acquitted from their charges, but were made to pay back the dividends. Besides the court case, the Brown family had to deal with the natives who were not so welcoming due to the belief that the family was merely leeching off of Alaska and acting like natives, even though they weren't. Jim Stanford, who was a neighbor, said that the cast of Alaskan bush people were more users than givers, not really the kind of people that you would want as a direct neighbor. It was so bad that some residents felt relieved when the Alaskan bush people eventually left for the North Star Ranch in Loomis, Washington. On top of the family's legal case, the family's new ranch, which had once thrived under Billy's leadership, was suddenly engulfed with fire and was severely damaged. In late August 2020, Bear Brown shared a post on Instagram talking about the severe impact the Palmer fire had on his family home in Okanagan County, Washington. The wildfire burned through 6,000 acres of land, destroying their home and filming location. Although Bear mentioned that his family suffered significant losses, he assured their fans that they didn't need to help as they were rescued right on time. This tragedy hit hard, as the Browns had recently established their home in Washington after leaving Alaska due to Amy Brown's health issues. The wildfire not only destroyed their $1.6 million ranch, but also disrupted their way of life, as the family had to find safe haven in hotels, a strange lifestyle they were not used to. Just when Bear was trying to push forward and rebuild his life, another tragedy struck. During Raven's second pregnancy, she spent much of her time in Texas alone, with her son River, while Bear remained in Alaska. The decision for Raven to stay back in Texas was due to the high-risk nature of her pregnancy, and so that they could move closer to a good hospital with a neonatal intensive care unit, something rare in their home state. Bear finally joined her just in time for the birth of their second child, Cove, but he didn't stay long after that. 
leaving Texas before the spring storm season hit. Now Bear is back in Texas, but this time he's witnessing the full fury of the storm season. Fortunately for them, their move to Texas was a fruitful one, as his wife gave birth safely. Just a day after his birth, Raven shared an update with her friends and followers about her baby's health. Unfortunately, Cove, the newborn, was diagnosed with premature infant lung disease, a condition that requires intensive care. Raven explained on her Instagram post that Cove had been doing exceptionally well, despite the challenges he faced. Born at 38 weeks, it was uncommon for a baby at that stage to have such a condition, but Cove was one of those rare cases. Luckily for the family, Cove's stay in the NICU was short as they left the hospital earlier than expected. Bear's family move to Texas was driven by necessity, but it brought with it new experiences and concerns. Unlike the cold and isolated environment of Alaska, Texas has a much warmer climate and, as Bear quickly learned, much more intense weather patterns. During his stay, Bear spoke about the terrifying storms that had swept through Texas, where he and Raven are currently staying. There has been a super bad storm here for the past three days. There is actually a flood warning going on right now. The storms brought with them something Bear wasn't used to. Lightning. In Alaska, where Bear lived, he'd never experienced lightning firsthand. But in Texas, he saw it up close and personal, along with the thunder, heavy rains, and tornadoes that struck close to where they live. Bear, known for his rugged Alaskan adventures, now finds himself in an unfamiliar territory, both geographically and emotionally. This time, he's not just facing the challenges of the wild, but also the challenges of fatherhood and the anxieties of living in a state known for its unpredictable weather. Well, the weather wasn't the only unpredictable thing. The couple's relationship was just as unpredictable. With the birth of their first son, everyone had assumed things were normal with the couple, who've had an on-and-off relationship. But barely two weeks after the birth of River, Raven announced their separation. Raven revealed that she had moved out of her home with Bear and was co-parenting with him, but not for long. Despite the challenges brought on by the weather, the family dealt with it just well. Some years later, Bear took to his Instagram page to announce the birth of his third child. Although they had mixed feelings about moving to Texas, it was eventually worth it, since they were able to achieve the primary reason for moving. As time has passed, the season's finale, A Golden Future, had fans wondering about the fate of Bear Brown and that of the show. For Bear Brown, it seems like we'll be seeing more of him and his growing family. For now, he posts on his Instagram page, reminiscing memories from the show. And as for the fate of the show, we'll have to wait for official word from the Discovery Channel. And so far, there has been no official word from the network or from the Brown family just yet. This silence has only fueled speculation among the show's devoted fanbase. The uncertainty has been tough for viewers, who feel so deeply connected to the Browns. They want to know what's next for the family they've come to love. In the midst of this uncertainty, the Brown family has faced additional challenges. Bird Brown, the eldest daughter, suffered a health scare. Doctors discovered she had a borderline tumor, which means the tumors aren't cancerous but need to be removed as soon as possible. Sadly, the two large tumors found on her ovaries were removed surgically, but she was told there is a 50% chance that the tumors will return. Despite these challenges, the other family members appear to be moving forward in their own ways. Each member seems to be living their lives somewhat independently of Alaskan bush people. While some members like Matt Brown, who moved to California in the eighth season for rehab, are pursuing personal projects that reflect their individual passions, other members like Gabe Brown and Noah Brown are focusing on raising their own families. This could only mean one thing. The Browns are not in a rush to return to the show especially without Billy guiding them. The future of Alaskan bush people still remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. The Brown family has left a significant mark on the hearts of their viewers. Whether or not the show continues, the legacy of the Browns' incredible journey will not be forgotten.